This is one of those videos that will save you hours of work in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you three tricks that will help you select and import clips for your project up to five times faster. Let's get started. The most rudimentary way to make the selection, that is, the way not to do it, is as follows. Select a clip in the media panel, review the clip, adjust the start of our selection by clicking on the mark in icon. As we can see, it has applied the mark in point right here. Then review the video clip again to mark the end of the selection. Mark the mark out point by clicking this icon. Lastly, click on the video and drag it onto our timeline. We would have to do this over and over again, selecting each video clip we have in the media panel. If we had four or five videos to select, it wouldn't be a big problem either. However, when we have a project with hundreds of clips, doing it this way will take hours to complete the selection. So, if you want to save a lot of time, do it the following way. Step one, this is the most basic step and most of you probably already know it. To mark the in and out points, avoid using the arrow icons. Instead, simply use the I and O keys. Press the I key to mark the end point, and now go to the end, and to mark the out point, press the O key. This way we save ourselves from having to go to the arrow icons every time and click. You might save three or four seconds, but four seconds multiplied by 900 videos equals 60 minutes. Great, here comes step two, which will save us time in previewing our clips. That is, we can view the videos we need to select much faster without even having to click on the videos. First, let's increase the zoom of the media pool using this bar here. I suggest zooming in until you can see three videos per row, making them as large as possible. In case you zoom in and only see two clips per row, you can enlarge the media pool by clicking on one side, enlarging it until you see the three videos in a larger size. There we go. As you can see, if we hover the mouse cursor over the clip, we can preview the video. But we can't appreciate the video well when it's so small, right? Don't worry, because we can also view the clip preview in the large viewer. To do this, select any clip from the media pool. This is important. You must select a clip from the media pool, and it should appear in the viewer. If you don't do this, the function I'm about to show you won't appear. Go to the menu of the three dots in the upper right corner of the viewer. Click and activate the option Live Media Preview. Now, if we move the cursor over the clips in the media panel, we can see the clip preview in the viewer. And that's not all. If we press the I and O keys from the preview, we can also select our clip, saving us a lot of time but we still need the last step to further improve the selection process. Step three. With this final step, we can select the clips and import them into the timeline using just three keys. Go to the DaVinci Resolve tab, located at the top left, and click on the option Keyboard Customization. In the Keyboard Customization menu, we should look for the function Insert. For the insert keyboard shortcut, I recommend assigning the P key. This way we can perform the entire selection process with just three fingers. Pressing the I key marks the end point. Pressing the O key marks the out point. And finally, pressing the P key imports the clip selection into the timeline. Now you'll see how fast and easy it is to select by combining these three steps I've taught you. Place the mouse cursor over the clip and review it. Now press the keys I, O, P. Next clip, I, O, P. Next clip, I, O, P. Next clip, I, O, P. There you go. Ninja selection. The next time you're going to do the selection, do it this way and you'll see the difference much faster and more comfortable. If you want to learn much more about DaVinci Resolve, here's a playlist with over 60 free tutorials. See you in the next video.